Hello guys, welcome to the clinical scenarios and this is your case number 18. Now here we have a 32 year male who complains of right eye pain and discharge. Okay, his symptoms begin acutely on awakening in the morning. So, they themselves are telling that this is an acute condition, it's a painful condition, it is having discharge, so maybe something related with the infection. Like, uh, I'm telling you like this because this is the approach you should follow. How you start thinking the moment you start reading the question. You have to consider the age of the patient, the gender of the patient, then uh, whether it's acute or chronic, right? Then painful or painless and then any associated symptom. Now he uses extended wear contact lenses. So I hope this is a very, very important part of this question that telling you that there is a discharge which helps you in understanding the infective nature of this condition and it is associated with the contact lenses right now i know when you think about the infection and you think about the contact lenses the first thing that bangs on our mind is acanthamoeba acanthamoeba keratitis please don't be biased don't be prejudiced okay keep that also in option but don't be that it is the answer Okay, now he has also difficulty removing the lenses for the last week. His past medical history is significant for obesity, chronic back pain, asthma and the acid reflux diseases. Okay, now the examination. A thick globular yellow discharge is present at the middle corner here and also on the lid margins. The cornea is edematous, it's hazy ulcerated and there is extensive scleral injection okay they have also helped you by giving you an image so that you can correlate what are the kind of findings they are trying to tell you so what is the most likely diagnosis so let's see the options options are angle closure glaucoma second anterior uveitis pneumococcal conjunctivitis or pseudomonas keratitis now you are fortunate enough because they haven't given you acanthamoeba keratitis in the options but you should know how to rule out even if it is given in the option and you know the contact lens users have a very high propensity for this acanthamoeba keratitis also so i'll be talking about that also that why it is not there then uh, if you look at the findings okay let's correlate the findings you can see a lot of scleral injection okay you can see the haziness in the cornea and you can see a ulcer also so, if I summarize these things, what are things that they have given? They have said that there is a sudden, okay, acute condition it was. There was a sudden painful uh, condition. Uh, they haven't talked anything about the diminution of vision, but this condition is sudden, it is painful and I will say that this is an infectious condition because they have told you the discharge and this infectious condition is associated with this corneal ulcer, infectious. So, there is an infective corneal ulcer that is corneal keratitis and also they have given you the contact lens, contact lens use. Okay, now can you tell me what should come to your mind? See, whenever I talk about the contact lenses, always remember that the most common infection, most common infection in the contact lens users, in the contact lens users is not acanthamoeba, rather it is the pseudomonas. It is the pseudomonas. Now you will say that we have studied that the contact lens users have the greatest risk of acanthamoeba keratitis. No, the most common infection which is occurring in the contact lens users is the pseudomonas. While the most important risk factor, most important 
risk factor for the acanthamoeba for the acanthamoeba keratitis so when i am talking specifically about this acanthamoeba keratitis then what is the most important risk factor then it is the use of the contact lenses then it is the use of the contact lenses so can you figure it out there are two separate statements don't confuse between the two if i am talking about the acanthamoeba keratitis the most important risk factor is the use of contact lenses but if any person is using the contact lenses per se then what is the most common infection then it is the pseudomonas are you getting this so this means what should be the answer here the answer here will be your pseudomonas keratitis answer is pseudomonas keratitis um keratitis now suppose you do not know this fact that uh, the most common infection occurring in the contact lens users is actually pseudomonas and you are actually uh, preoccupied with with acanthamoeba and now you are panicky because acanthamoeba is not there in the options so how to get to the right answer so start ruling out the wrong option so see the option number 1 angle closure glaucoma why this is not angle closure glaucoma so if i talk about a patient having the angle closure glaucoma so what is the age of that patient the age of this patient has to be more than 50 years of age and it is more common in females while here they have told you 32 year male so this is going against the diagnosis of acute congestive glaucoma second thing they have given you the corneal ulcer they have given you corneal ulcer while you are not going to get corneal ulcer in the patient of acute congestive glaucoma right then they have also given you discharge will you get discharge in acute congestive glaucoma no i won't get the discharge right so this means that though this can lead to the sudden it can lead to the sudden painful diminution of vision but because of the age of the patient the gender of the patient the corneal ulcer the discharge all these things are going against the acute congestive glaucoma now if it was a case of acute congestive glaucoma what should have been there then there should have been a mid dilated mid dilated and fixed pupil so they have not told you anything then any precipitating factor because you know how do the acute angle closure glaucoma attack precipitates anything which leads to the mid dilatation of the pupil so mostly these people have any emotional stress stimuli or they are watching any um, movie in the theaters or undergoing any dark room procedure absence of the sunlight or maybe it can be pharmacological mid reacts so anything that can lead to the mid dilatation of the pupil with the sudden painful diminution of vision with narrowing of the angle of anterior chamber on the examination with the glaucoma flecans the walk striated right so all these things along with the nausea vomiting these things are also there and above all you will get the raised intraocular pressure very very high intraocular pressure is a must there yeah and the eye will become stony hard so you have so many reasons to say obviously that it is not a case of angle closure glaucoma now coming to the second thing anterior uveitis why it is not a case of uh, anterior uveitis especially the acute anterior uveitis because that can also lead to the sudden painful diminution of vision now though it will also lead to the sudden uh, painful diminution of vision and i would say this is more common in males but if i talk about uh, the acute anterior uveitis also though it's more common in males but this is more common uh, in comparatively the young age group and this is a 32 year so though it can occur but uh, anterior uveitis especially the acute anterior uveitis i will say will occur even in a uh, smaller age group okay then second thing is what is the most common 
etiology. If I talk about the etiology of the acute anterior uveitis, the most common is the autoimmune etiology, right. So, this is one exception where actually the inflammatory condition is not most commonly related with the infection. If I talk about acute conjunctivitis, if I talk about acute keratitis, they are actually associated with the infectious causes. But not the uveitis. So, the most common etiology is autoimmune, okay. So, I will not get any discharge. So, there should not be no discharge, okay. Then second thing, they are saying the corneal ulcer. So, if it is only a case of acute anterior uveitis, I will not get even the corneal ulcer. What I get there? That is your iridocyclitis. So, basically what I get there is irido and cyclitis. So, I am getting iritis, I am getting the cyclitis, okay. I am not getting the um, keratitis there, okay. No keratitis uh, until and unless that um, the secondary infection has taken place, that too also by a very virulent bacteria that has led to the conjunctivitis and corneal ulcer. So, that is a very far away story while they are saying that it has occurred acutely here, okay. So, it is very, very unlikely that this patient is actually having the anterior uveitis. So, this is also there. Now, third thing, pneumococcal conjunctivitis, pneumococcal conjunctivitis. Now, yes, pneumococcal conjunctivitis can be associated with a discharge, yes, but you have to remember that this conjunctivitis will not lead to this corneal ulcer because there are certain bacteria only which can actually penetrate the intact cornea and which were these bacteria? The bacteria which can invade the intact cornea. So, uh, what are the list? The first very important is your cornibacterium diphthery. Cornibacterium diphthery, okay. One is this. Then the second which can be there is the nasaria. It can be nasaria meningitis and then we have the nasaria gonori. Okay, then uh, we can have what you called as um, Listeria, we can have uh, Shigella, Shigella, then we can also have the Haemophilus. So, all these bacteria have the property that they can invade the intact cornea. So, they can uh, even if they have caused the conjunctivitis, it can go and penetrate the cornea, it can cause a corneal ulcer and it will cause the uh, infectious keratitis. But can you see here we do not have pneumococcus. So, pneumococcus is not one bacteria that from the conjunctivitis it will lead to corneal ulcer and moreover it will not uh, even if it is taking place, it will not take place in such a short time. They are uh, themselves saying that it is a very, very acute condition just uh, uh, um, it has started awakening in the morning and uh, you have to certainly look that there is a history of contact lens uses. So, which condition is actually acute that can occur in a 32 year male which is causing sudden painful uh, condition which is leading to the yellowish discharge, okay, that can lead to the corneal ulcer is actually the pseudomonas keratitis. So, I hope this is very, very clear. In case of any doubt, you can always ping me up on any of my social media platforms and um, there are certain videos also which are related to it. You can also uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can go so that uh, you can uh, get the earliest notification of whatever videos I am uploading because daily I am uploading the academic stuff so that uh, you can actually um, and be benefited by more and more things. Uh, we actually post the question for previous day, then I try to upload this video next day so that whatever confusion was there regarding that question in your mind, you can be cleared up. You will get to know that were you thinking in the right direction or not, okay. So, this is my one initiative, little small initiative so that you can start thinking how to approach the clinical scenarios. Thank you and happy ophthalmology.